Hello everybody. Firstly, <laughs> I'd like to apologise for my tardiness and not doing Sunday Q&A. Truth of the matter is, as a few of you that have been tuning into the channel regularly will know, it's kind of a lot going on at the moment. And I'm disappointed with myself to say this, but I think I'm suffering from a very mild, very mild bout of depression. It's kind of, I feel like I'm playing whack-a-mole and I feel like I'm the mole. Because <laughs> every time I seem to stick my head above the parapet, someone bangs on it with a sort of padding hammer. But, you know, it's all right, we'll get through it. I kind of um, say sort of, you just don't really want to do much, you know? You just think getting out of bed is a struggle. And then I spent all day Saturday on the poo. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've been working all the time. Like, you've got to keep working. Um, that was a piece of advice someone gave me a long time ago. They said, don't stop working. The one thing, when you said I went for a horrible divorce, and one thing I'm pleased about is I didn't stop working. Um, so you keep going. And um, yeah, so I spent all day Saturday reconciling invoices and trying to marry this up and trying to marry that up and all that kind of stuff. And Sunday, I, got, and I didn't have time to do the Q&A. And Sunday, I thought, I've got to do the Q&A. And I thought, oh, I just can't. <laughs> you know, it was all I could do to um, drag the bins around. But don't worry, don't worry. It's not over yet. Sort of... Um, I mean, I've been thinking about what to do. I mean, thanks for, oh, by the way, I, thanks very much for all your advice. I seem to have managed to sidestep the, um, yeah, thanks to friends and Nick the Urban Trucker and a few other people that went, why don't you try this? And I seem to have managed to come kind of an agreement with the um, Navuna people, so the, the, um, the factory company people, so that, um, yeah, I'm not uploading the invoices to them anymore, which means all the invoices I'm doing at the moment are coming my way. Been running three and a half weeks now. <laughs> I think one, but that's the thing. That's the thing in this game, isn't it? You gotta have the money to keep going. But I still have. Uh, lorry went up for sale um, last sold last Tuesday. Yeah, they haven't collected it yet, so I won't get paid until they collect it. I'm hoping they're going to collect it in the next couple of days. They get like a week to collect it, so that'll be a bit of dough. And the other one's going up for sale today. In fact, it's probably an auction today. If you want yourself a good motor, get yourself on CVA Hemel Hempstead. It's got a year's MOT on that one, and that was one of that was that was Veronica, the one I used to run in. Good motor, but it's got to go. But um, yeah, I'm just firing away. Like I say, just keep, keeping the faith. And just keep going. I've, I've toyed with the idea. One of the guys said you might be trying to pack it and get a job. And do you know what? There's so many times, like when I backed my truck off a cliff recently, and I thought, I can't do this anymore. I just put it in a bag. I'm just going to go walk away. I can't do this. But you can't. And <laughs> do you know what my hero is? He's a very unlikely hero. He's one of my heroes, obviously. Um, it's Rafael Nadal. Now, I know nothing about sport, full stop. My wife says it's the best thing about me. She watches the tennis, I don't. But, and I could be wrong about this, because I've probably got the wrong guy. No, I'm pretty quite sure I've got the right guy. I remember one of these games where it was um, Rafi Nadal plays Federer, and it was championship point. So this is for the everything. This is for Wimbledon. And if that was me, I'd be sitting there thinking, right, that's it. All done. Nearly done now. Just got, this one's going to go. And then I can look forward to a nice pint of Stella Artoris, who I believe sponsor the, um, the, uh, the, the tournament, in the bar afterwards. Yeah, nice holiday after this. No, he didn't. He, he was championship point, and he won it. And then he went back and he won the match. And then he went back and he won the game. No, the game, sorry. Then he won the match. And then he went all the way through and won the championship. And he was one point away from losing. And I think the point is, I've got to keep fighting. I've got to keep moving. I've got to keep going. And I've got to try my hardest to see if I can. And I might not. I may be that bloke who's doomed to, you know, to fight and lose. It's choice me. But if I fight and lose, then I'll get up and I'll fight again. And I'll lose. And I'll fight again. And I'll lose. And I'll keep doing it. Because the options, what are the options? I can go and get a job. But it would really hurt me. To go, you know, if you think, well, I'm, I'm driving a truck all week, and you think, I used to, when I had a truck, I could make the amount of money I make in a week in a day. And that would, that would bother me. Is that you guy? I don't know. He's just taking um, pallets off my truck at the moment. But, but, I mean, don't get me wrong, there is a difference I know between bringing stuff in and not bringing stuff in. And I've learnt a lot. I mean, I've always said I'm totally clueless to this, and I am. And when I'm running without a factoring company as well, something I'm focusing on very heavily is the diesel. 
I'm focusing very heavily before you think, well, that's like, you know, 70 miles, 75 miles, 18, to seven and a half ton. I'll probably get it for about 200 quid. Now I'm really trying to focus on short jobs. 35 mile jobs so they're not I'm not going too far away from home you can't always get them um, and you're not getting too far away from home but because the diesel you're paying for on a weekly basis whereas the invoices you're going to be getting on a two monthly basis so to not run up a huge diesel bill at the moment is going to be a boon but I've got support I've got a mate who's lent me some dough um, I've got friends who support me I've got um, two trucks to sell and hopefully I'll get through this to the other side, see the invoices coming in, have some money again, which would be nice, close these companies down and go, go down to being just me, just me and a lorry, sole trader, just running in a truck. No grief, do the jobs, come home. That's the aim, that's what I'm going for. Will we be able to do it? I don't know, I don't know, but I'm gonna give it my very best shot. So you watch this space and see if I get to carry on taking care taking money. Thanks for watching. I'll try and catch up on Sunday Q&A next week.